India has been keeping a fried chicken secret, and in today's video, you'll learn how to make Chicken 65, one of the most flavorful, crunchiest, and delicious chicken dishes out there. Welcome back to the ABCs of Indian food. We'll start by taking one pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs and use a paper towel to pat them dry and remove any excess moisture. We'll then use a knife to remove any excess fat before slicing the chicken into one inch strips before rotating the chicken horizontally and cutting the strips into half inch cubes. Make sure to cut even pieces as much as possible and you want the chicken cubes to be bite sized and a little bit smaller than your average chicken nugget. We'll give the station a quick clean before starting our marinade. In a bowl, we're gonna combine 150 grams of Greek yogurt, 30 grams of lemon juice, and give this a quick whisk just to thin out the marinade. We're then gonna add in three grams of cashmere red chili powder, one gram of turmeric, 56 grams of ginger garlic paste, 3 grams of coriander powder, 3 grams of cumin powder, 1 gram of garam masala, and about 10 grams of curry leaves. Curry leaves can be found at your local Indian grocery store. And what we're going to do here is called a chiffonade, where we stack, then roll, then slice into the curry leaves before mincing them into a powder. We're then going to add 10 grams of kosher salt, and I like to add in a few drops of red food coloring for dramatic effect. Whisk this together before adding the chicken back into the bowl and mixing thoroughly so each piece is combined and covered with the marinade. Now we want to wait at least 30 minutes, but preferably overnight for this chicken to marinate and we'll come back in just a little bit to start our flour dredge. So chicken 65 is typically served as is. However, while our chicken is marinating and we have some downtime to kill, I figured we'd make our typical mint chutney. And I had this idea about this spicy Kashmiri garlic aioli that I've been thinking about. Also love how Japanese fried chicken or karage is always served with this garlic mayo. So I wanted to try to do that in like an Indian style uh, with Kashmiri red chili powder, some lemon juice, mayo, and of course some garlic. And let's, let's see how it comes out. And while we make our sauces together, I figured I'd share a little bit more about Chicken 65 and its origin. So Chicken 65 is a dish that was born in Chennai, India, which is in the Southern part of India. The dish was discovered by A.M. Buhari at his restaurant called Hotel Buhari in 1965. Hence the name Chicken 65. Some people claim that's actually called Chicken 65 because 65 spices were used in the first and original batch. Let me know in the comments below, do you think Chicken 65 was named after the 65 ingredients used or was it actually named after the year it was founded in 1965? For the spicy mayo, we're gonna add in 28 grams of QP mayo, a pinch of cashmere red chili powder, the juice of about a quarter of a lemon, and just grate one clove of garlic directly into the sauce. Just give that a quick mix and test and adjust to your preference. Similar vibes to the mayo that you usually get with karage with a little bit more kick from that Kashmiri red chili powder. Next, in a bowl, we'll combine 160 grams of potato starch and 40 grams of all-purpose flour. Now, normally in Chicken 65, corn flour is used. However, I love the crispiness that potato starch creates. Add the marinated chicken back into the bowl and mix thoroughly. Use your hands to incorporate the dredge into all of the crevices of the chicken, which is going to give us even more crispier and crunchy chicken. Next, in a Dutch oven or wok, we'll add two to three inches deep of peanut oil. As described by Kenji Lopez all in the food lab, peanut oil contains a moderately high level of saturated fat, which is optimal for frying. It also has a very neutral taste, We'll then heat the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and once the oil reaches temperature, we'll begin to drop each piece of chicken in one by one. Use a slotted spoon or spider to constantly stir the chicken to prevent it from sticking together. Fry the chicken for about two to three minutes before using a spider to remove each piece of chicken and set aside on a wire rack to rest. Repeat these steps for the rest of your chicken for that first fry. The most important thing is to fry the chicken in small batches so it cooks evenly. Once you finish the first batch of chicken, allow the oil to come back up to 350 degrees before adding the chicken back in and again, small batches. Fry the chicken for another one to two minutes before removing the chicken and adding back onto the wire rack and immediately hitting it with a pinch of salt. Then in a shallow pan, we're gonna add in some of that frying oil, about 10 to 20 curry leaves, some green chilies, and we're gonna fry those before adding back in our chicken 65 and about five to six cranks of fresh ground black pepper. We'll then add our chicken 65 onto a plate and serve with some lemon wedges, and let's get ready for the taste test. 
I mean, just check out the crackles on this Chicken 65. All right, let's give it a taste test. Let's see how crunchy it is just by itself. Oh yeah, so much flavor, absolutely delicious. I understand why a lot of people don't eat Chicken 65 with any chutneys or sauces because you really don't need it. Very dangerous, I'm gonna have to run 10 miles after this plate, but thank you guys so much for watching. This video was a lot of fun. Uh, it was our second episode of the ABCs of Indian food with Chicken 65. Don't worry if you're vegetarian, there is a Tofu 65 version on my page as well. Be sure to check it out and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.